Hi there. My name is Paul Tannehill. I'm one of the e-learning systems administrators at Lynn Benton Community College. I'll be covering in this screencast how to get started as a student using our LMS, or Learning Management System, known as Moodle. Before I start, I'll say that I'm recording this screencast in Google Chrome browser. Your best experience in Moodle is going to be either in Google Chrome or Firefox. Okay, I'm starting off here at the lynnbenton.edu college home site. And I'll click the Quick Links menu in the upper right and move down to Moodle. When I click on that, and that takes me to the Moodle login page. Now this copy here on the right side, for now it's just announcing our upcoming change to the student username. We keep this site updated, so whatever you see over here, give that a quick read, at least your first few times logging into Moodle. Let's go ahead and get logged in. My username is my entire LBCC student email address. First name, dot last name, dot last four of my LBCC ID number at mail.lenbenton.edu. Now, if you're dual enrolled at Oregon State University, there's a chance that the last four in your email address might be the last four of your OSU ID number. All of our passwords have been reset to the six-digit MMDDYY format. And before I click log in real fast, I'll mention that later on in the screencast, I will cover what to do if you've forgotten your username or your password. For now, though, I'll go ahead and get logged in. And next, we'll change our password to one of our choosing. My current password, of course, is still my MMDDYY format birthday. My new password's got to be at least six characters. Once, and then a second time to verify. And click Save Changes. My password's been changed. I can continue. Here's how to find your courses in Moodle. On most Moodle pages, you're going to see a navigation block, most likely on the left side, at the bottom of which you'll see a My Courses link. I'll start from the site homepage because you're most likely to start there when you first log into Moodle looking for your courses. So there you see the navigation block on the left, and here's the My Courses link at the bottom. Now these are the courses my Moodle account is enrolled in right now. If you don't see a course that you are registered for, that might mean a couple of things. It might mean that your course is not utilizing Moodle. It also might mean, though, that your instructor just hasn't set up your Moodle course yet for student enrollments. If that's the case and you're pretty sure that your course is running in Moodle, double check with your instructor. We're just about finished here, but let me show you one more thing. I'd like to show you how to get logged into LBCC Moodle if you've forgotten your password. I'm on the site login page right now, and you'll see under the username and password fields, it says trouble logging in, click here. Go ahead and click there. Now you can input your username in this first field. Of course, your username is your LBCC student email address. And note if this process doesn't result in an email to your student email address, that probably means you don't have an LBCC Moodle account set up yet. Just call the student help desk. I'm going to go ahead and input my student email address right now. Make sure you include the at mail.lynnbenton.edu and then click the search button. What this next screen shows you is that if you supply it a valid LBCC Moodle username, you should be getting an email into your student email inbox. And that message is going to contain easy instructions to get logged back in. Of course, any issues, you can walk into the student help desk located in the library on LBCC Albany campus or you can email the student help desk at student.helpdesk at lenbenton.edu or give them a call at 541-917-4630. Hope you enjoyed this screencast. Should serve to get you started in Moodle. Any basic questions, of course, contact your instructor first, the student help desk second. We're all here to help you. You have a great term.